okay everyone welcome back to another video um today we are going to do a really quick one it's a tutorial uh, related to windows 11 and star citizen so a lot of people have problems installing uh, star citizen on the windows 11 there are multiple reasons why but the main reason is um it's not supported for windows 11 um that's the fast answer but there is a temporary fix there are multiples on youtube already i saw um but i tried them and didn't work uh, this one actually does work so let me and i have not seen this one on youtube so let me show you what you have to do um, and then explain later uh what happened and 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 uh, yeah what ex what you can expect to pop up uh, but okay so what all we want to do is hit your windows key type cmd and then click here and run as administrator yes you want to accept that that it down in the description um i have a code you want to copy you want to paste it right into your um system right here now i'm not going to do this because i already did um so what you want to do um, is you want to click hit enter and then it tells you well you have to restart your computer um, or if it doesn't tell you have to restart your computer you do have to restart your computer for this um, to actually register and um, work so after you did that you fire up your um your launcher now you do get a pop-up that says you do not meet the minimum requirements don't get scared like i had in the beginning like oh crap did i break it no you didn't because they're actually not lying you do not meet the minimum requirements even if you have a uh 30 90 ti and all that shit you do not if you use windows 11 you do not meet the minimum requirements does that mean i cannot play the game no it only throws an error because you're using a unsupported windows and that is what it means when you don't meet the uh, minimum requirements so after you did that you will actually notice uh, and then you just close it that that box you just hit ok or exit i think it says exit you install the game and you will actually notice that it's actually going to fully install the game and you can launch the game so um let's do this let's launch the game let's see if it worked yes it, i'm acknowledging it see okay this is great you can see this is what is going to pop up when you launch it for the first time after restarting your pc but it seems that it also and i did not even notice that it also pops up that the moment you hit launch game when it's fully installed what well, makes sense because you do not so okay don't worry it still launches so we're gonna see what is happening to be honest this is the first time I fire it up so the yes so the installation process I confirmed works now does the game actually fully function if not we're gonna see that here and I will keep it in the video so you guys get proof if this actually works or if it doesn't work I am not a a person that that hides stuff so yes, okay, I could now just say, okay, well, that was the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed and hope it worked. Like most, like 99% of the YouTubers these days, they just show you a certain part and they will never show anything again or will not see mistakes or errors that actually pop up. Sadly enough, I wish more people did this, but here you get the actual truth if it worked or not. So the only thing that I had to do, um, yeah, okay, if you get that, just click Windows button and it should 
if you're a mouse back, you just click no. If you don't want to use it like me, I don't want to use it. Um. So I like to show if it actually works or not, and so far it fires up. Now I hope that the software is currently recording this. But so far it's firing up. Unlocked your friend list after. Yep, okay. Okay, so also keep in mind, uh, let me do something really quick. Oh, I can't, okay. So far, seems to work. Just keep it. Yeah, fine. Okay, now I'll go back. So, I'm letting you know, I am... Hold on. I am running a 1660 and a i7-9700K. Um, and 32 gigs um, of DDR4. So, I also don't know what the performance will be in the recording. But, I will try and... Because see, I'm just going to leave it, except all I'm going to do is turn off motion blur. Keep this all set. I will not change anything right now, except V-Sync. I'll turn that off and film grain. Uh, it's not that performance taxing, although V-Sync, a lot of people have misconceptions of, about V-Sync. Um, like turn it off because it's, it's not good or it's, that is not totally true. That highly depends on the game. Yes, I have a developer background so okay let's see uh unlocks a friend list okay so let's go and select the system i am just gonna go to new babbage that is primary yes confirm so we are now going to see what's going to happen i said it was a quick one so if you're here only for that part tutorial you'll technically already done now we're just gonna test and see if it actually works let me also do um R underscore display info three. Um, I will also drop this one in the comments down below. So if you want to know all the system loads and FPS, and if you do not know it, uh, I will leave a list of the most basic use commands for that. It's really easy. It's uh, your your squiggly line between like um above your tab next to your one right and then um it's just r underscore display info uh one two three and zero is off um so let's see let's see what's gonna happen i will probably cut right here uh to when we are in game okay guys and we are back so we're in the game, we're currently running at 31, 32 FPS per second. This is always a little questionable, but don't worry. Like I said, I'm running a little bit of older hardware, also not really supported Windows, and it's, it's still Star Citizen Plus recording. Uh, sometimes it, it needs a little bit of time to catch up. So, it is fine. There are issues, but I mean, we're talking about Star Citizen, right? We're not talking about, uh, I don't know. And yes. Is this due to Windows 11? I don't know. Like I said, I didn't test it. Also, I am now recording. So, I, uh, I have no idea. But, it could also be a bad server. But you can see, guys, I am in the server. Um, and the game is running. So, I would say uh, mission accomplished. So, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope this helped you out. If not, let me know. And I will see if I can find any other potential fixes. If you have any other errors or like at least like while shit doesn't load up, uh, you want me to look at, 
uh, let me know i'll see what i can do and uh, see what i can come up with if you want to do uh want me to do more of these kind of tutorials um uh, troubleshooting uh let me know uh i enjoy doing this and uh it helps you out helps me out that means it helps everyone out so if you have a friend a girlfriend a mother brother or sister that has this same issue don't forget to share this video like subscribe and guys i will see you in the next one